so so it's gotten so subtle now you know what i mean that that's even way too much of a of a little head nod it's more of a so you can't even tell remember when somebody used to like you know flag you down like hey what's going on I can't see all that great, so even then I'd be looking around going, what in the world? I remember walking into a store one time and someone was like, oh, hey, Nick. I just walked right past them because, look, I I just don't know anymore. You just can't tell if somebody's saying hello to you or the person behind you, especially with the whole, like, sup. I, I often find myself going, sup. And then it's not, that sub wasn't to me. It was to inevitably somebody behind me, but I, but I don't know. And it's, it's rude when somebody's doing this and you just walk right past them. So now I just ignore it all. Sup, no sup, no sup, no more because, well, you just can't. And with that, let's get into this. Hello, welcome. My name's Nick, and welcome to another One Take, where we take something off the screen, off the page, or out of my head, and we talk about it in the moment, so anything could happen. And today, like most days, is more Funko Pops, but also, I think there's going to be another theme. Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, and let the madness begin, that's what I say. Actually, the madness didn't even begin, I fell asleep. Not during the movie, because the movie was incredible, and we'll get into it. But I fell asleep and missed my movie time. You ever have one of those sleeps where you sleep for so long, you don't know, you lose all track of time and space, right? You don't even know what day it is. Anybody could tell you, like, somebody could have told you you've been asleep for a month, and you'd be like, yep, I believe that, because you wake up and that everything seems the same 6 p.m and 6 a.m they look exactly the same you know the sun's ba- i mean two different in the sky but i mean when you look outside if you're unless you're looking for the sun it looks the same so you're disoriented you're confused and with me my girlfriend walked in was like you've been asleep for 38 hours 38 hours There's no way that I was asleep for 38 hours. I mean, it wasn't 38 hours, but it was damn near close. I slept so long, I slept right through the movie. I had to cancel the movie and then rebuy the movie to go see it it exactly the next day because, well, I, I was asleep. Like, I hibernated. I now know what a tiny sliver of what it's like to hibernate. When you sleep for that long, there's... You're tired. You ever notice that when you get too much sleep, it has the opposite effects of what you're going for. You're like, I'm going to sleep until next Wednesday. And then you wake up next Wednesday and you go, wow. Um, that was a lot of sleep, you know? So with that, let's get into this because I went to go see that movie and I regret not seeing it the day before. I not regret seeing it twice. I'm going to go see that movie like 18 times, so it's going to be fine. But let's get into this. And crazy enough, not crazy enough, as soon as this movie was over, me and my girlfriend was like, all right, time to go buy all the Funko Pops. And that's what we did. So let's get into it. And the first one, we just picked up in the store like right after the movie, and it's the uh, Walmart exclusive Defender Strange he comes out with his gray hair right in the beginning there and he starts zapping people's powers. You know, you know how that goes. So, and you're going, is this, who's that guy and what's happening? And it is, I mean, it literally jumps right into it. There's no like special song with the whole song and dance of the Marvel coming down. It's just like, dun, 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 dun. and then you're, you're off to the race horses horse races i went to one of those oh what else we got let's get more into it oh yeah let's get into honestly i was i was really excited they had me in this movie right i mean let's not even kid around it was marvel and i went to the theaters to go see it so i mean come on and honestly 
the Scarlet Witch. She be holding it down, okay? If you know, you know. When she's bleeding out of her face and walking through a corridor, like limping, like rah, just ripping through everything and everyone on a terror. I was at the edge of my seat. This movie was so much fun. It, the pace to it was so, it was quick, but in a fun way. Like it was like, oh, now we're here and now we're going over here and now we're doing this and now we're doing that. Like, I was along for the roller coaster, and was it a roller coaster indeed? I mean, we just went for it, and it had all the things. I mean, we knew a lot of things that were coming, and even though that I knew them, to see them, that's how they get me. I mean, that is the clear and clear. I mean, of course, like, you know, you watch it, you watch anything and, like, say whatever you want to say, but... This movie was so much fun. I mean, just the the storytelling that they did uh, provide and give was was so interesting. And I really just enjoyed the whole adventure of Doctor Strange and how many characters he had to play. And this kind of overall, like, you know, his, you know, having to play all those different characters. But that it was that, that core thing of like, since he's. He always wants to be the one like holding the knife. Like he thinks the best decision is of course his decision. And sometimes like because of that, he doesn't play well with others. And that kind of leads to consequences that aren't always foreseen. And sometimes the what he does for like the betterment of good isn't always all that great. And we kind of see like some of these Doctor Stranges have been warped and uh you know, they, they make decisions the best that they can and it just, and it goes sour and the biggest threat to the universe winds up being Dr. Strange himself, which I mean, has been like kind of talked about a little bit throughout, like since we've seen him, you know, that whole great power comes great responsibility. I know Spider-Man, that was the one thing I know I'll open up this box. That was the one thing my, we walked out of the movie theaters and my girlfriend was like, well, I mean, she really enjoyed it, but she was like, it's, it was no Spider-Man, no way home. And I went, oh, how dare you? You can't compare those two things. Spider-Man was like 20 years in the making. <laughs> oh, they really, they really, for, what? What's happening here? They, a lot of packaging, and I think there's only like two pops in here. Um, yeah, that movie was a lot of fun. The whole like diving through different multiverses. I mean, we kind of only went to one, but it was a good one. It was a good one indeed. Oh yeah. So I had to pick up this one because Zombie Strange. Are you kidding me? That was probably my favorite. There's two favorite moments. One was Zombie Strange, and two was um, Zombie Strange. I mean, <laughs> just rising from, oh my goodness, it was so good. Oh, Zombie Strange, and of course, them fighting with music. I wanted to say Beethoven, but I mean, it was just like a, a crazy, that was so much fun, fighting with music. Who knew? Who knew you could fight with music? In such an innovative way. And then the whole, that guy in the hot dog stand beating the, out of himself for the whole movie and even a little bit afterwards. <laughs> oh, there's a pop in here that's not Doctor Strange. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. All right. Not for me. For the old... For... Not for me. Funko Shop exclusive Pocahontas just around the river bend. Somebody else will enjoy that. Oh, I like this one. This is we got Christine Palmer. Now she... I liked her character. I liked her little like multiverse character. Oh, and can we talk about the multiverse characters? Cause you got 
Captain Carter Black, the Illuminati show up. You know what I'm saying? Professor Xavier, John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. I hope we see more of that. Although, my goodness, I was not expecting them to be like, hooray. I mean, it was, whoa, that was some brutal stuff. I knew, and I've said this before, they were, I, you know, everyone was saying that they were supposed to go for like a horror film. And I think it definitely had those like, kind of like zombie apocalypse movie ish i mean it definitely oh when she's going down the corridor with blood out on her face i'm telling you right now it's crazy times and even dr strange kind of his different versions and how he's kind of handled the multiverse and his kind of issues Ooh, that boy gets dark you know what i mean speaking of which this right here should be a chase roulette of the man himself, Doctor Strange, which I've come to really enjoy. He's honestly up there as one of my new favorite characters. I mean, Captain America, Iron Man will always be up there, but Doctor Strange, he's in it to win it. All right, well, they're all right in the front and center, and guess what? <laughs> Not a one. Not a one chase. But that's okay. Still an awesome pop. Wow, they look really in good condition. The shipping on all this stuff was has been I've been really impressed with lately. I don't know if like what's been going on, but when it comes to shipping these things, they're getting really pristine. I mean, Target had all this stuff and then Funko was all Funkoed up. Like, there was two boxes in that giant Target box, and there's only two uh, two small pops. I think this is the same thing as the, the Zombie Strange, because I was concerned. Uh, I guess I wasn't concerned at all. I just I just wanted two of them, but it you know you can never you never know. Like we're just just in shipping in general, right? My goodness, and there's bubble wrap on bubble wrap. Oh yeah. There's the second one. I mean, just... Uh, well, couldn't be more thrilled about that. So, anyways, Doctor Strange. What a fun ride. I'll probably talk about... But I'll do another one. We'll, we'll do, do a deep dive. I just wanted to chat about some of the, the fun moments, and it was so much fun. It was, I, and honestly, again, I think I've changed my mind with the whole movie theater experience. Sometimes you just got, it's nice just sitting in there. You got your big bag of popcorn and you got the movie on. It's good times. You can't leave. That is the one bummer. If you want to pause, there is no pause. And with that, I'm going to pause on this because, wow, there's a lot of, I don't think I've ever gotten so much of one, like, I don't think I've ever gotten one full, like so many Funko Pops in one set. There we go. We got to the end of that sentence. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next on the next one. Until next time, bye bye.